Hello friends. Today I have three sets of cards on the table and I would like, I would love you to pick a card. Anyone your eyes is focused on, that is the card your spirit guide wants you to pick. And sometimes more than one card can relate to you. So when it resonates to you, to your situation, you know the card is also speaking to you. So I will give you a few minutes to pick a card and then I'm going to reveal the cards. And let's see what your spirit guides have for you today. Okay, and then this is card number one with one carry, card number two with two carries, and card number three with three cards okay so now i'm going to move these cards on the side so we can focus on each set of cards when i'm reading them okay so i'm going to bring card number one on the table okay so i take the card out and then i'm going to open the card let's see what message spirit have for those people that picked card number one Okay, so this card is saying, feel your grief, but know that things will get better. So this card is for some people that are grieving right now that picked this card. And your spirit guide is saying that you can feel your grief, okay? You can express your feelings, but just know that your, your situation is going to get better, okay? So let's see the second card that came with this. And the second card that came with this is saying that worrying changes nothing. Decide your next step. Although you're grieving right now, but worrying is not going to change anything. So you have to decide your next step. You have to think what is the next step after this uh, situation that, that has happened to me, uh, that has happened to you. What are you going to do to change this um the future what are you going to do to move on in life okay so they say Warren is not going to change anything you have to decide your next step what is your next step and then the tech card that came along with it is saying take your time to think before you act because you know that when people are grieving when they are very angry they can react differently this is the time that people are most vulnerable this is the time that they make the wrong decision they go in the wrong relationships and they also so take your time to to act take your time to make any decision you're making during this grieving time during this time of pains okay so that you don't make the wrong decision and then you have to go through the circle all over again so this is what this uh, first card is saying. So let me bring card number two so we can see what your spirit gets have for you guys. The pit card number two. So I take the card out and then we're going to open this card and let's see what your spirit get have for you guys. That pick this card number two. Okay, the first card on this set of cards is saying the time is right to take action on your ideas. So there is some ideas that you've been you've been, you've been having for a very long time. Something you would love to manifest. So your spirit guide are saying that this is the right time for you to take action, so that you can manifest those ideas so that you've been having for a long time. So the doors are open for you if you want to manifest all those ideas. It could be investment you want to make. It could be something very important. You maybe you're thinking it's time to get married, time to go into a relationship, time to travel, time to travel abroad, time to do something different to improve your life. And the spirit is saying that this is the right time for you to take action on those ideas that you've been having. Okay, this is the second card uh, that came along with that. Okay, judgment cards answering. The call to action creates new opportunity. So these ideas that they're telling you to take action, they're saying that make the decision to create new idea. You need to answer the call to action right now. That they're telling you that the doors are open for you to, to manifest what you've been hoping for for a long time. Okay? Because it's going to create new opportunities for you. So this is the third card that came along with it. And they're saying that you, sh you should look at the world from a different perspective perspective okay and this different perspective that i'm getting is saying that you should do something super, uh, spiritually to 
empower this opportunity that, that's open to you. You need to do some sacrifice, some offering, give offering to your spirit guides, give offering to people in need so that it can be able to open doors, more doors for you. You can push this new opportunity that has opened, this great door that the universe has opened to you. Okay? Sacrifice. So let's uh, go and open the third card and see what spirit have to say for those people that, that picked card number three. Okay, I take the carriers out. So let's open this card and see for those of you that picked card number three. Hmm. This guy is saying there may be challenges ahead. You can face them. So I'm sure you're going through some things right now that is very difficult for you, that is overwhelming you. But your spirit guides are saying that although there is challenges, but you can face them. You know, there is this same parable. They always say that God will not give you something you cannot carry. So these challenges is something you can face. Maybe it's supposed to help you grow spiritually. It's supposed to help you learn something. So you're going to come out of these um, challenges that you're having. So the next card that came along with this card is saying you can always call on your natural confidence. Okay. You can always call on your, your spirit guard, the spirit guard that are with you 24 seven. You can call on your spiritual teams if you have already aligned with them. These are the people that will help you to overcome any challenges that is coming into your life. Okay. You have to make decision, be determined to overcome it yourself. So let's see the next card that came with along with this one is saying you have success in your you have success in the face of difficulties. So no matter the challenges that you're going through right now, as long as you keep pushing hard to overcome it, as long as you you're partnering with your spirit guides, as long as you're praying, doing all the necessary spiritual work and doing the physical work as well. Because sometimes people are only doing the physical work, they are, they are praying and expecting things to just fall in place. No, that is not how it works. You pray and then you do your own part. Because spirit cannot do the physical part for you. You have to do the physical part and why they do the spiritual part. And before they can even do the spiritual parts, you have to call upon them. You have to invite them to do it. Okay. Otherwise they won't do it. They always need permission from us before they will do anything. This is why most of our spirit guides are inactive until we activate them. Okay. So you are going to overcome whatever challenges you're having. It's not something you cannot be able to overcome, but you have to take the decision, the determination to overcome out of it. Okay, that is what I have for you guys today. Bye for now.